This lesson is to lay the groundwork for successful map reading and land navigation by exposing you to the topographic symbols found on military maps. Man-made and natural features are depicted by symbols, lines, colors, and forms. These features are represented by conventional signs and symbols. To be legible, many of these must be exaggerated in size. The map maker uses colors and symbols to represent natural and man-made features. FM 3-25.26 lists seven colors, black, red-brown, blue, green, brown, red, and other that show information about the natural and man-made features on a map. The use of colors will vary depending on the date of the particular map. The colors and what they represent are listed below. Contour lines are the most important method of showing relief and elevation on a standard topographic map. A contour line represents an imaginary line on the ground above or below sea level. All points on the contour line are the same elevation. The elevation represented by contour lines is the vertical distance above or below sea level. The three types of contour lines used on a standard topographic map are index lines, intermediate lines, and supplementary lines. In this lesson, we have identified topographic symbols, colors, and lines on military maps. Successful navigation requires a thorough understanding of the map reading basic concepts we've covered today. Map reading and land navigation is a perishable skill that you can quickly lose if you do not practice consistently. Likewise, constant practice will allow you to master this perishable skill, which will lead to self-confidence and confidence in front of your soldiers and superiors. Knowing how to read and understand strengthen your awareness, credibility as a leader, and help you stand out among your peers. Stand out among your peers.